Hey guys, this is Trent, and this is an unboxing of the Nexus One, which is manufactured by HTC for Google. And as you guys already know, it runs the Android operating system and happens to also have a one gigahertz Snapdragon processor. So um, the reason why I ended up going for this is because um, I originally did not want to go back to the iPhone without giving a fair shot at the Android operating system. And um, I figured since there is no device out there right now with a sliding QWERTY keypad, um, there would not really be much of any harm to go with a touch-only device for right now. Um, I basically just want to see if the Android operating system will work well for me with a touch-only device. I'm pretty curious as to how the operating system works for Android. Now, I know I could have gone for um, another Android device like the uh, HTC Desire or the HTC Hero, but um, initially I decided to not go with those devices because I've already tried the HTC Sense interface that was already premiered on a few other devices such as the HD2 as well as the Touch Pro 2. And um, I figured going with the purest form of the Android operating system was the best bet for me uh, since it does tend to have uh, some different characteristics in regards to navigating software and using certain applications. So as you can see, we have the box for the Nexus One from Google. Oh, and just to let you guys know, I am shooting in the lobby of my condo. So if you hear any background noise, that's going to be why. All right. As you can see, the top part of the box slides open and you have the Nexus One nestled in the packaging. Very impressive. We're gonna just take that out of the box right now and sit that to the side and see what else happens to be inside this box. Okay, the first thing I see is what appears to be a neoprene pouch in black. Pretty soft to the touch, pretty good quality. And then you also have the Android mascot right here toward the bottom of the pouch itself. Very nice, and this will allow me to keep my Android device in my pocket instead of in my belt clip holster, which can be a bit cumbersome sometimes. All right, we have what appears to be a quick start guide with instructions on how to get started with your device. We have a warranty statement here. Okay. And I assume this happens to be the user manual. I'm guessing, I'm not too sure. Anyway, um, let's see. I guess it's just a bunch of mumbo jumbo and a lot of technical writing in different languages. So uh, this may not be the user manual, but let's keep going. And in the box, we have three different compartments. The first compartment appears to have the, I, I'm guessing it's the USB cord. But I'm gonna tear it open out of the plastic here. Yep, this is the USB cable that has micro USB on the end. Okay, there you go. Sit that back into the first compartment. Second compartment has, I believe, this is the headset. And if I am not mistaken, the HTC Nexus One does have a 3.5 millimeter headset jack, so you can use uh, your regular uh, headphones with the device as well. All right, you have the 3.5 millimeter jack, and it appears to come with headphones that are exactly the same as the ones that came with the HD2. You only have the, uh, the mascot for Android, I guess, uh, printed on the side of the headset, which is a pretty nice touch. And then just like on the headset for the HD2, you have controls that operate uh, music playback. You have these tactile buttons here. 
fast forward, backward, play pause, and a call button in the center. Okay. I'm going to take the plastic off of that. And another thing to mention as well is that there is a microphone behind all of those tackle buttons for uh, music controls. Next thing we have here is the battery. Okay. And in the final compartment, we have the power cord. Made for North America, and then you of course have the micro USB port on the end. Okay. All right. Now that we've gone over everything with the unboxing, we now have the actual device in hand. We're going to take the protective plastic off of the Nexus One. Let's see here. All right, we have the plastic off of the device, and you can see here that we have a 3.7 inch screen that is all touch and it is capacitive just like the iPhone and the HD2 and below at the screen at the bottom you have four different touch operated commands I believe this one is for uh, search home uh, a drop-down menu and a back button if I am not mistaken and then below those touch controls you have a trackball that I believe also lights up for um, incoming notifications at the top here you do have your earpiece and then on the left side of the device you appear to have rocker controls I guess for zooming or volume controls depending on what application you may be using at the top of the device, you have a 3.5 millimeter headset jack and a power button, if I'm not mistaken. On the back, we have a speaker. And apparently, I've heard that on the back, we have this speaker here. And I've heard that it's a mono speaker. So I guess um, I'm eager to see what it sounds like for music playback as well as um, incoming uh, alerts. Uh, on the back, we also have the camera, which is a 5 megapixel unit, and next to that, we have a flash. Another thing about the uh, Nexus One is that it incorporates two microphones. I believe this one may be the second microphone to take care of any ambient background noises as you're talking on the phone. And the main microphone is going to be at the bottom toward the right side of the device, along with the micro USB port itself. And as you can see on the right side of the device, there appears to be no kind of um, buttons placed whatsoever. So with all of that being said, um, as I'm holding the device in my hand right now, it feels very good. I am very impressed with the build quality so far. Um, the plastic feels like it's soft to the touch, and there is also a nice uh, addition of metallic features with the build, with this frame as it goes around the face of the device as well as around the back with a small strip. And I can also say that the dimensions of this device do feel pretty good as I hold it. Um, it does remind me of the E71 as well as the iPhone. I mean, I don't mean to mention the iPhone, but you can't help but mention it. But uh, it does tend to feel similar to those two devices in regards to its thinness as well as its overall height. And that's basically it. So what I'm going to do now is take uh, the next couple weeks or so to get introduced to the Android operating system for the first time. And um, I am very eager to get started with this particular device because 
I, I've wanted to play with the Android for a long time, but um, I've always wanted to hold back for a device that had a hardware QWERTY keypad. But since that doesn't appear to be happening anytime soon, I figured why not go ahead and give it a shot, especially since I'm still with T-Mobile and this happens to have access to the T-Mobile 3G network. Another great thing about getting this Nexus One on this particular day of March 2nd, 2010, is that March 2nd happens to be my birthday and I am turning, well, not turning, I am 29 on this specific date. So uh, to turn 29 and receive uh, my first Android device is, it feels pretty good to be honest with you. Oh, one more thing. Now that I'm looking at the reflection uh, under the light, I am seeing that there appears to be, I'm not too sure if that's an ambient light sensor and a second camera or what, but there are two, uh, two little features there that are right above the uh, left side of the screen. So um, I'll be sure to mention that when I give my uh, initial impressions of the Nexus One in um, an upcoming video in the near future. So my initial worry of using a device manufactured by HTC was for the camera, especially when it came to shooting uh, video. Uh, HTC devices in the past for me have never been reliable when it came to shooting good video with, um, with great sound quality. And another concern that I have is also for the loudspeaker. Um, HTC, once again, has not been known for having great sound quality when it comes to its loudspeakers, except for the HTC Touch Pro 2. That was an exception, in my opinion. But what I am looking forward to, though, is having access to a lot of Google services and being reunited with Google Maps, in addition to having Google Calendar and Google Documents and so on. So um, being being with the Nokia N900 did not give me compatibility with Google Maps, so that was uh, hurting me for a little bit, but now that I have an actual Google uh, phone, I am excited to be able to not only have access to Google applications, but to also be guaranteed to have over-the-air updates to the Android operating system. Okay guys, I know I normally don't do this, but I've got to. Holy <laughs> This is amazing. Android operating system f so far from what I am seeing is so responsive. The capacitive touchscreen is amazing to work with. I mean, being able to drag this down for a simple notification for incoming emails and then drag it back up, it's amazing. I am flabbergasted by the, this, <laughs> I am so happy that I've gone with the Nexus One for right now instead of going back to AT&T for the iPhone because the number one thing that I was yearning for was a great touch operating system that happened to be on a slim pocketable device with a fast CPU. You know, I almost got that, I thought, with the HD2, but the only problem was that it was too wide and much too big for me to, you know, carry around and have it be pocketable. But this is so much better than HTC Sense. And I am loving the responsiveness. I'm thinking that it's coming from the uh, Snapdragon processor. I am really liking the fact that it is tied into my Google Calendar and the fact that it's tied into my, my Google account, actually, with uh, my Gmail account, my Google Calendar events are all synced into the phone. The only thing I need to do is download Missing Sync for Android to take care of all of the contacts that are in my uh, MacBook address book. But other than that, I am really impressed by just the way that the OS responds to my fingertips. And I am just very eager to get started into looking up different applications from the marketplace. Uh, Documents to go is going to be the first thing that I, that I look for. And um, other than that, I am excited. This is, oh, wow. I'm happy that I have this for right now. Um, going with the iPhone may have been good for, I guess, a couple of days or so before the novelty wore off of the iPhone OS, but being able to have an unlocked device with such a promising 
uh, operating system on very good hardware really makes me feel good. And I am so eager to try this out for the next two weeks or so and let you guys know what I think as I get to use this as my main device. But so far, I'm telling you, from the time that I turned on this device, after putting my SIM card and the battery into it, oh, <laughs> this is good. This feels good. The Nexus One, so far it looks very good. So with all of that, guys, take care and stay safe.